Hello everybody, my name is Igor Gordon and I want to present you uh, an in initiative from street to government uh, run by uh, EHRN in the um, Eastern Europe and Central Asia region. So, uh, a bit of context. There are a lot of factors that contribute to growing of epidemic uh, of HIV in Central and Eastern Europe and Central Asia. But the one very important factor, this is low coverage of harm reduction uh, services that's far below the level that could make impact the course of uh, epidemi epidemiological um, development. Uh, HIV prevalence among people who inject drugs uh, in some of the countries is from 10 to 50 times higher than among uh, general population. Um, it's a fact that people who are afraid of police and reluctant, they are reluctant to seek healthcare and HIV uh, uh, prevention services. Another key contributing factor to the spread of epidemic is harsh drug policy with its negative consequences. Uh, the drug-related legal environment and the policy implementation in many countries of our region is far from what we could call a balanced approach. So, uh, in this context, the project started in um, 11 uh, countries and in 2016, last year, in cooperation with the Eurasian network of people who use drugs as a part of uh, International Harm Reduction Consortia supported by uh, Robert Carr Network Fund. And uh, this project is um, added value to the existing uh, street uh, lawyers uh, uh, programs in those countries to provide legal assistance to people who use drugs and to protect their rights and document the human rights uh, violations in uh, Eurasia region. So through the engagement of community leaders, uh, advocates and legal advisors and country coordinating uh, mechanism members from communities, it was decided to focus on and mobilize around two key advocacy issues. The criminalization of drug use and access for people who use drugs to pain relief and uh, drug treatment. And during last year, we gathered about 200 testimonial cases as evidence of human rights violations against people who use drugs. And this had then formed the foundation for advocacy work with community representatives uh, and presenting the result as key national, uh, at key uh, national and regional forums. Uh, the videos and information have been used for national and regional advocacy to highlight to government representatives the extent of the problem and to support the meaningful involvement of people who use drugs in more detailed discussion, such as uh, country coordination mechanisms or uh, other task force uh, on national level. And I want to present you a short video as an example on how the initiative uh, works. Uh, another cha video challenge. This story is about the success of community legal support and video documenting of cases of torture in the name of drug treatment. I am Alexei Kurmanayevsky, a street lawyer in Russia. For many years I witnessed thousands of people are locked in private drug treatment centers where they are often subjected to physical violence, cruel and degrading treatment. Most victims are afraid of taking action including due to the lack of any support from people they would trust to. As a person who used drugs and a lawyer, I talked to many of them. 
Together we started video recording victims' testimonies. Nobody agreed to talk with open face, but we managed to record many hours of very detailed accounts about horrible practices. Непосредственно за это время приезжали новички, которых при привозили привязанными, избитыми, то есть их сразу уводили в баню. Если там они оказывали какое-то сопротивление, их просто били. Да, ну я сказал, говорю, я говорю, ну вы не имеете права, как бы. Ну там грудь пробили, он, ну вот так называемый психолог. Потом спустили опять вниз, и в эту же яму к тому, ко второму человеку, как бы, посадили, начали поливать водой уже, ледяной. После часа где-то начали судороги брать, я начал вылазить оттуда. Потом получил сильный удар, оказывается, они у меня, ну вот колеса есть машины с дисками. Ну, закидали, как бы, чтобы я не смог вылезти оттуда. Там других, кто, ну, там всех, кого привозят, они все через яму проходят в основном. Mm -hmm. With the consent of victims, the videos were released to mass media. The story of torture in the name of drug treatment got local and federal media attention. More victims agreed to talk in front of the camera. Some victims decided to go further and file official complaints to law enforcement. As a result, the prosecutor's office inspected over 30 privately run drug addiction rehabilitation centers. 19 centers were closed due to the discovered violation of law. The criminal investigation is ongoing. With an appropriate technical assistance, Street Lawyers Project can be a very effective vehicle to bring justice to people who use drugs and other most vulnerable communities. So, um, during last year, so it was one of the example, like, successful example of using video testimonies uh, in advocacy and so they succeeded to uh, close those uh, very bad rehabilitation centers and during last year we um, so all together 10 street lawyers from community member uh, from communities in those country in seven countries received also uh, small grants uh, to uh, uh, to do an advocacy on a uh, national and local level and also to, uh, um, to do a mobilization and 14 street lawyers and seven CC and country coordinating mechanism members participated in the training on protecting rights and it's very important that from the very beginning we um, we involved in this work uh, community members of country coordinating mechanism of the Global Fund because uh, they have a platform to show all those cases but they need um, arguments and facts to, to effectively to do an advocacy. And also we used an interactive uh, learning module to expand the opportunities for people to learn about their rights and this is one of the uh, this this um, mm, uh, training model tools uh, uh, developed by EHRN we used um, uh, for street law schools and we also provided small grants to organize these kind of schools uh, in countries so some practical lessons learned from this project so street lawyers may carry with them documented examples of successful cases to use them as a showcase for motivation of clients. Mediation is not bad. If mediation led by to effectively completed cases, it's a success. And video documentation with hidden faces also works well uh, here. Uh, such materials is very easy to distribute and also to present to media. If the client is not ready to open the face, but the described problem is a uh, really systematic issue, it's worth to collect more same problem cases and combine them in the form of a report to draw attention to the problem. Um, 
in the process of work, it is, um, this is necessary to collect and analyze the reasons why people don't want to protect their own rights. And it is important to inform clients properly so they don't have false expectation from street law, but have a clear understanding that their efforts are Im important not only for them personally, but for the community as a whole. Yeah, and without reforming drug policy, there are no uh, effective response to HIV and other, other problems uh, in community of people who use drugs. Thank you.